and uh, everybody's everybody's concerned with business. Yeah. And banks right now. Mm -hmm. The banks are teetering. Yeah. We're on the verge of 2008. We're on the verge of 1929. A lot of people are. You saying. could say almost every business is struggling. Yeah. Right now. Pretty much every business. Right. Yeah. A lot. A lot of businesses are have failed to deliver content. Yes. Say. Or should we address that? Can you think of any? Um. Hmm. Uh, I think us. Probably. This the Adam yeah. Friedland show. Okay, so folks, this is a very special episode of the Adam Friedland show podcast. Usually, Adam interviews guests, but today, Adam is going to be interviewed uh, uh, in sort of a BBC style, uh, hard hitting. You know, um, we're going to really get into it and figure out just what the hell is going on. At the Adam Friedland Show. Correct. Um, yeah, a couple of uh, announcements I think we should be making. Let's give people a backstory. Okay, just backstory. Because, just because people want to want to know. And you can interrupt me if I'm wrong. Go ahead. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, this should be good. Okay, yeah. You, uh, you were on a podcast for what, 17 years. I believe six or seven years. Six or seven years yeah. called Come Town. Come Town saw... What is the right... Why, what are you writing? Uh, I'm taking notes. I'm okay. taking notes. This interview has been produced. This is how you normally when you're interview someone. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's it's go. produced. Okay. Instead of a stack of cards with emojis on them, you, if you have just one legal pad with, with specific questions, mm -hmm. you can sort of plot out a, a map um, of, okay. of what you want to discuss. So you have a strategy, like a roadmap. I have map. a strategy. Here, yeah. Oh, I see that, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you were on a podcast, Come Town, for six years. Yeah, integral part. And this was, this was sort crucial. of the culmination of a long time you spent um, just absorbing the culture in preparation. Mm -hmm. I did it for the culture, a lot of people say. To create yeah. the podcast. And the podcast was successful. Quite successful, yeah. And in early 2021, you decided to fire probably uh, the most uh, prominent or successful member of the show. Mm -hmm. And oh. rebrand it as just your show. You'd had enough of uh, sharing the, the pot. It was a difficult decision that I made, but we focused. Was it any it. way okay. that influenced by Elon Musk's decision to buy Twitter? Um, I think through osmosis, perhaps, but I don't think it was a direct result of that. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't how, think I was copying. How soon after you were vaccinated did you decide to hmm. turn the the show Come Town, the podcast with zero overhead, into the Adam Friedland show? Uh, f a full television production with with probably a hundred thousand dollars a month in overhead. Um, it was a matter of months. I, I don't think it was immediate, but I, I think the vaccine had to work its way into my system. Yeah, yeah. You think it left the site of injection and went to your brain? Um, it went around my body, into my feet, into my penis. Mm -hmm. I mean, my brain definitely is part of my body. There was a Japanese study that said that the vaccine goes into people's genitals. Did you see that? No, I didn't. Yeah. I figured only the Japanese would. Well, they were injecting it into people's genitals? No, it went from their arm to their genitals. Just directly in there. Yeah. Kind of like a blue chew. Well, I would assume, yeah, they don't fuck, so they're going around just uh, horny all the time. Well, if you need a good vein, you know, you might have the penis vein. Right, well, thing. it's all backed up down there. There's a lot yeah. of pressure, so everything just gets sent mm -hmm. right to the genitals in those folks. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're actually, speaking of, you're now banned from the country of Japan after a controversial I wouldn't say right? that. There's an appeals process going on, and I can't talk about it in an ongoing legal case. You're in discussions with the embassy. Yeah. Um, the, the United States government is actually advocating on my behalf. They're so. stepping in. They're stepping in. To keep you in Japan. Um, to send me to Japan. To send me. And to uh, have them throw away the key, mm -hmm. so to speak. So, uh, 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 would you say that the Adam Friedland show is failing? Hmm. Um, d define failing? Well, I guess just purely from an economic standpoint, would you say that um, more money is going out the door than coming in? Um, I think it's, it depends on how you look at the spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. um, Have you looked at the spreadsheets? It has been some time since yeah. I've looked, yeah. Okay. Um, then it's I kind guess of one of those, like, if your report card is bad, if you don't look at it, you didn't get the grades. Okay. I guess more from, a, from a, a, an artistic perspective, then. Would you say that your creative vision has been solid or thrown off course? No. No? What do you foresee happening? What do you mean? With the show. Well, I think we just made that decision. What was the decision? Dave. 
What about Dave? No, he just his phone's ringing now. Okay. It's disrespectful. I mean, we're like talking to our audience. We're giving a state of the program. Yeah. What's going to happen? We're going to keep doing this damn show. And then we're going to, because I think the folks that are good enough to pay for I think premium, what, I, what I see, okay. you know, we look at chatter. We look at uh, information from focus groups. And it seems that people want the podcast back. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's what it is. I think it's about churning out consistent content. In the form of a podcast. I don't think... And the twice a week podcast format. <laughs> the twice a week podcast format uh, will return. The twice a week podcast format will return. We've experienced some frustrations with editing. We have two interviews that are in the can. One that should be coming out tonight. Um, but with that inconsistency, I think we've realized that we have to provide consistent content to the people that pay for the consistent content. So we will be returning to a free and a premium model with the actual Adam Friedland show released as it, as it is ready. Um, this, we, this week's episode um, so is, to clarify, wh- is wh- about 10 days late right now through uh, some series of fucking, uh, I don't know, some uh, comedy of errors, let's say. And what are some of those, what are some of those errors? And then what, where are they comedic? Um, not very funny, yeah. let's just say. Okay. But it's a thing that smart people say, comedy of errors. What does that mean? Was it a Shakespeare kind of thing? I have no idea. In fact, I never understood why they, they just decided some of the Shakespeare plays are comedies. And they're yeah, like, oh, yeah. this one's sad and this one's funny. Well, I think if everyone ends up dead at the end, it's a sad one. Mm-hmm. Unless you're one of those guys that's into like dead baby jokes. Kind mm-hmm. of like a you kind of guy. Me? Yeah. Kind of like someone with like a Eric Cartman style, like dark sense of humor. Oh. Yeah. Okay, um, so then let's just clarify what that means for the audience because in, in, in inquiring minds would like to know what will be the the new form of the Adam Friedland. The new show, form of the Adam Friedland which, show, which will be called Adam Friedland Show Retro Podcast because it's a throwback to the comeback. <laughs> Get another <laughs> rebrand. <laughs> okay. Here's the new show. Uh-huh. There's no new show. Okay, we will just be adding an additional podcast every week so that we can stop freaking out when a actual talk show is in production and late. And yes, so basically you will continue to get um, the talk show. There are two episodes that are coming out right now. The two huge guests that you guys are actually going to really love. And then um, in addition to that... If you are a paying subscriber. If you are a paying subscriber. If you're not a paying subscriber. If you're anybody and you have a YouTube account. Let's go to, if you don't mind, going to the Adam Friedland Show official (sighs) YouTube channel, which is just Adam Friedland Show. It's not whoever this Indonesian guy is that everybody keeps telling me He seems like a great guy. He seems, well, at the very least he knows kickboxing. Does he? Muay Thai. I would imagine they all do. Like an ong, Ong Bak. Yeah, either that or yeah. the big thing over there is, I guess, is going into the jungle and building a house in two days out of, yeah. like, model magic. And tucking. They like to tuck yeah. there. Um, uh, uh, there will be a... So w- the plan is... The plan we is... We do the regular podcast, this, which will come out on Wednesdays. Yes. And the video and the audio will both be free. The, vid- the audio you can get on the old RSS feed. That'll still be there. Correct. The video will be public. On YouTube. Correct. Then every weekend, the same thing, but be paywalled on Patreon. Correct. So it goes back to the old format, and then there's also, it's no more divvying up the video and the audio. Correct. And then there will also just be the Adam Friedland Show. Yes. Which is not part of the Adam Friedland retro <laughs> podcast <laughs> project. Sure. So basically all we're saying is you will be getting more content if you're paying for that content. And this time, we promise. <laughs> just, it's just very frustrating when we divvy it up to say, oh, the talk show will be behind a paywall. And when we have complications in our production model in trying to start a television show off the couch ourselves, um, we won't it's, it was fine. be in a position. It was fine when the pinnacle of the actual talk show guest was, uh, let's say, uh, Caleb Pitts. We have but a after you hit Ernie Hudson, 
The next week you can't have. Our next two guests are, I can tell you right now, in 2023, much bigger celebrities than Ernie Hudson. No offense to Ernie. Wow. Friend of the show. Wow. I can assure you guys of that. They're the, are probably, in 2023, our two biggest celebrity guests. So get ready for that. And that will be on Patreon, but we will be returning to a premium model starting next Monday. At the very least, please subscribe to the Adam Friedland Show just yes. so people and, uh, know that we have a YouTube channel. Because and this evening... All of our content is reposted by, again, an Indonesian man. I thought he was from the Philippines. Is that not Indonesia? I think it's a different place. Okay. I think one's Muslim and one is, I don't know, one is Pacquiao. It's all Lilo and Stitch to me. Pal. Anyway, so yeah, all we're saying is there will be additional content now going up on the Patreon and extra podcasts every week and the same talk show that you know and love. And as always, a free episode out to the public. And yeah. that, is, that is what we're committing to because people that are paying five bucks a month deserve content on a consistent basis. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And good. I'm glad we're on the same page about that. I because agree. I'm tired of fighting with you about it behind. No, he's bu he's bullshitting. We're never fighting about I'm, it. I'm tired of. I say these people deserve something, and you say to hell with them. Yeah, I say um, let yeah. them eat piss. Let them eat shit. Let them eat caca. Let let them eat poo poo. Yeah. Anyway, but some technical and also difficulties on, on Patreon.com. Uh, Hopefully this evening, April 20th, our new episode Is of that the a Patreon talk show. episode? Is that free or Patreon? I have no idea. I'm not... I, I think it's Patreon. Decisions. It's Patreon. I, my only role here anymore, I told you this, six months ago, is I'm an advocate for the audience. Mm -hmm. And I... You're a man of the people. And I'm, I'm a character-driven... I'm always... I'm characters from now mm -hmm. on. And Nick will be doing one of his classic episodes, or classic characters on the new talk show episode. So strap in, stay tuned. The Philly thing. It'll be fun. Yeah. The, but Chinese. Mm -hmm. But Chinese. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Philadelphia, China? Yeah, Chinatown, yeah. Philly. Oh, Chinatown, Philly. Yeah. Where the bus lets off. Mm -hmm. Does, is it still a Chinatown over there? I don't think it is. It is, yeah. 